Happy Friday. How you doing? Um, let's today, just briefly, I'm going to try and make this as short and fast as possible, but let's look at trends. How do people out on the open web or journalists or pundits on newscasts come up with, well, 33% of people don't believe that thought. Um, things like that. Um, so let me show you some open web stuff that you can dig around in. And it's fun because you can throw in any keywords that you want. You don't have to put in boring statistics. Um, so first one, there's one called Google Trends. And I imagine some of the other search engines have this as well, where you can go in and they will share data with you on what's being searched for. So first thing I'm going to search for is Tina Belcher from Bob's Burgers. How is Tina trending? You could do anything that is encoded in a language in this search. So it, I don't think it's language specific. Um, so you don't have to do names. You could do concepts or you could do phrases, any, any number of things. So. Um, in the past 12 months, well, let's see how, I'm going to do 2004 to present. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> how has Tina been trending? Oh, Tina's, tr you can see when the series started. Look at that. There's like these spikes. What happened? Was there like a Tina specific episode? And then you can see the states where Tina trends really high. So <laughs> Tina resonates in Maine. Um, and doesn't show up in Wyoming or South Dakota. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. Um, so th this is how you can find some of those trends. Uh, it's just what people are searching for. And you'll see this on Reddit all the time. Another one, um, and this one is um, a little more formalized, where they will go in and they will think of things that are going on, and then they will do surveys and things like that. The Pew Research Center. This is open web and it's free. It's funded by, um, it's a nonprofit organization. Um, and it's interested in North American politics, but there's some global stuff in there too. And you can see, they'll talk about things that are going on right now. CQ Researcher is one that we have similar to it, uh, but this is more kind of open-ended where it's just like, this is happening, this is happening. Um, so George Floyd protests, women gained the right to vote. 100 years ago. I was really excited about that because it's close to my birthday, um, which is in August, that it was uh, passed. Um, what you can do in this one, though, is you can search for any number of things. So let's do, I don't know, is graphene going to show up? Who knows? Does the public care about graphene? <laughs> Nothing found. So the technical terms might not work. This is a social database. So if you go in, let's look at these major headers. There's one called science. So instead of a very specific thing about science, let's look at people's perceptions of it. Um, and you'll see what's trending right now in what people care about. So if you are really into nanoparticles and graphene and um, nanotubes and things like that, how could you apply that to climate change or education or COVID-19 testing. There was somebody who actually did, I don't know if it was graphene or it was nanotubes, but somebody made a water purifier that was like, you know, super small, super thin. Public views, social things, that's really good. How do you do your own search? There's something called Google Ngram. Uh, back about 15 years ago, Google said, with all of the money that they had, they're like, let's scan all the books. And it was literally all the books. So they went to three major academic libraries and they scanned all the books. And what they did is they gathered all of the words. They did op optical character recognition, OCR. So they have all the text of all the books and then they have it aligned. You can see on one of these axes, it has dates. So 1860, 1880. And so what you can do out of all the books published, you can type in a keyword, I'm gonna do I'll do influenza. That's a fun one, isn't it? <laughs> keep, keep your minds off the current epidemic and let's look at a past epi epidemic. These are books in academic libraries. So it's not necessarily pop books, but you can see a trend. No one really cared about influenza back in the 1820s. And then there was a spike. And then everyone was cool with it for a while. And then all of a sudden, boom. 
and you can see exactly when interest dropped off. Presumably because the, the epidemic was over. Let's try another one. Let's do computer or computers. Let's do computer. Oh, there you can see. It trends up from World War II onwards. Let's try jargon. So here's a fun one. Fun because I know the background. Um, so housewife. It, it is a gender specific. It's got stereotypes. It's got a lot of baggage tied to it. And it's, it's um, typically kind of, uh, well, let's just say sexist. Interesting thing happened. There were these women who were stay-at-home moms and there was um, a toxic waste dump in New York um, called Love Canal and the men would go to work. It was very traditional in 1960s, 50s, 60s, um, but it turns out there was a toxic dump and the only people noticing it were the women and the children that were staying there. Kids had a lot of lung problems and things like that. So women uh, did um, scientific groundwater sampling and they found that oh my god this is a, a toxic waste dump when they brought it to Congress and brought it to the state there was a lot of sexism and some uh, a famously a male Congress man said oh it's just a bunch of housewives <laughs> and that happened right, happened I think right about here um, and after he was unelected and destroyed publicly the term housewife, they're like, oh God, let us never use that term ever again. Uh, let's go to another one. Now we're in databases. When you're looking for your own scholarly pursuits, how do you figure out whether something is trending up or trending down? Web of Science is like a scopus. And so in this one, I searched for babies. <laughs> There was one, how to communicate to babies. And I just, I couldn't help but laugh. Because I was just like, you there, baby. <laughs> I'm a little punchy today. I'm going to take the day off. Um, so let's do graphene. Let's do graphene and electronics. So a specific application. So say I'm an electrical engineer, and I'm really fascinated by these carbon structures but there's 7,000 articles. How do I know whether if I'm going into grad school or if I'm going into a profession, if this is like something on the way up or if it's trending down? I'd say it's probably trending up. What you can do is go to the date values and it'll throw all the dates in a big pile for you. But it's kind of, it goes in order. So let's go by record count instead. And then we can see what the top years are. And you can see the top years, it's been growing since 2014. 2020 isn't finished yet, so we can dismiss that one. So we can, this field is trending up, graphene and electronics. Throw in any keyword um, that you want. Another one that you can do is you can look up historical things via newspaper. This one's fun because you can get into the nitty gritty. Um, so on this one, you can see I've, I've done a search before, but let's look for, what would be something? Let's look for housewives again. And this is the terminology used by journalists, by the general public. 84,000 times this showed up. And you can see from this graph, let me zoom in here. This is all the newspapers. Um, published by the New York Times since 1861, 51, something like that, up till pretty recently. And you can see there was no such thing. It's probably just understood as part of it. But then, as the women's right to vote, women's suffrage, women's rights, all sorts of things like that, it started becoming part of the jargon. Isn't that fascinating? And it peaked in uh, the 1960s. And then it went back down again as women's rights presumably started to take off. What's another one that we could do? Let's do, let's do internet. Obviously you can throw in more, more better keywords. And you can see it spikes.
but then it turns down. How about violence and I'm going to throw, oh, let's do engineering. <laughs> let's throw the engineers onto the bus. How do we tie something social with something cold calculating and binary? Who knows? It'd be interesting to see, oh, strikes and things like that. It's fun to see, to cruise around and throw things in there. So it looks like it peaked in 1999. It's bizarre, I have no idea why those two are thrown together. One last one that I wanna show you, US Newsstream. This is all or, you know, it's not all. Most of the newspapers in the United States. So we could do searches for pop culture. So here's um, Kanye West's production from a few years back. So you can do pop culture searches in this one and you can see how they're trending. And you can see, you know, it's been going downhill. How about Kanye West? Do you remember how to do that? You do it in, do it in quotes. How's his career doing? Is he showing up in the papers a lot now that he's running for president? <gasps> oh no, he's trending down. Uh-oh, this might be why he's running for president. He's, he's shooting for, for relevance. Another thing you can do is throw in um, things related to Utah, because the Salt Lake Tribune is in here as well. How about water and Utah and uh, how about dam so water management in utah is a big deal because we're a desert and the colorado river green river virgin river all those run through here and a lot of them keep on going because the the water rights are owned elsewhere so you can do local searches as well and you can see how that's trending and you can see that in this current year it hasn't really said very much but what what's going on this oh yeah let's look at this year you can narrow down and see how um, discussions are going right now in 2020 people are talking less about um, things like that there's a lot more going on but you could do these really granular searches for trends and see what's going on so it was a big deal in January how many articles so there's 40 records um, so if you're looking for trends, if you're doing something like that, that's the way to go. Okay, bye-bye. My face has frozen, so have a nice weekend.